How do we go to the woke crowd, the white guilt crowd, the I did something wrong because of the accidental color of my skin, you know, the the birth, the birth is okay, the two, the man and the woman, and it works, and you get whatever color of skin comes out of that genetic mix. And if it's white, how do we talk to them, to whites, and say, you've got to switch this around because... If this continues, white people will become, while they will retain the the, si- the numbers, if you will, they will become also the largest block of victims of white guilt and woke privilege. What I want is, is, is liberty. I want the party of liberty to win. I want, the, the, I want liberty to be protected, our, individuals, our individual liberty to be protected. You and I, what we share is our humanity. In our Americanness, and we want our lib- we want a government that's going to protect our liberty. And and in my book, the Plot to Change America, what I lay out is, look, we need to stop accepting these myths that people actually that that the country is divided into identity groups because this is a a, a, a demand by the grassroots for recognition and restitution. No, this was created by the grass tops. This is an elite project. We need to understand why was it, for example, the group Hispanic created by the Office of Management and Budget in 1977? Why? Because activists, far-left activists and ideologues, demanded and put incredible pressure on the bureaucracy to officialize this group. Why do you? Why did they want to officialize a group? Because then they could go to the members and fill them with grievances and say, "Look, you can succeed in America individually, but we don't want that because they all." all Everybody on the left admit that, yes, you can succeed in America individually, but they say, we don't want this because if you succeed in America individually, you're joining the system. And what we want out of you is to fight to change the system. This is what we want you aggrieved and filled with victimhood. So you, can, you have an urge to change the system, not to, not to improve your lot in life. You and I are interested in people, no matter their color, green Americans improving their lives through their individual agency, through their hard work. This is now what the, what the ideological left wants. By the way, I'm not talking about liberals. There are many liberals who are flag-waving, uh, America-loving liberals. They just, they just want higher taxes. They just have a different view than you and I do. But they agree. on the fundamentals, we all agree. I'm talking about people on the far left who no longer agree on the same fundamentals that I think – a good 90% of America believes. There is so much more to go in this, and I think we will need to do a, a deeper dive, you and I, but, I, you know, just thinking off the top of my head now, Mike, and, you know, similar backgrounds, I think we've had similar uh, intellectual, or call, let's call it political intellectual combined uh, backgrounds and thought processes. But one of the movements that, that needs to happen in this country is it, it has to be, instead of this forced separation by skin color and this attempt to turn it, I don't know, on its head or upside down or maybe sideways is better based on color, that there needs to be a reengagement because too many whites in America have given up accepted their lot as the guilty and carried that forward to give in a group power that, by the way, if they're successful, does not, in the end, recognize color or gender, but recognizes only elitism and power. And that is what socialist democracies and eventually, in the worst case, communist nations end up being they don't care about color religion or whatever in the end they only care about control communism is colorblind communism will ruin you and bankrupt you no matter what your color or national background or sex is right (laughs) one of the things and let me be before we we, we, well can i just say this mike let, I, yeah. I just want people to get this point, what you just said a little bit further. Communism exists in Venezuela. Communism exists in Cuba. One is the Caribbean, 
Uh, another one is in Central America. Communism exists in China. That is Asian. Communists exist in other parts of the world. In Africa, that's primarily black. You're right. It doesn't recognize color. It recognizes an ideological outcome, which punishes all. Right. It, it, it's got a perfect record of failure in Europe, Asia, Africa, and Latin America. That anybody would want to attempt it here after a perfect record of failure in tears is unbelievable. But before we leave, the, the one thing that, that makes it so hard for you and me to fight against this is that this left wokeism hijacks one of our best impulses, that is uh, our impulse to be compassionate. Because we, you and I, go to church, we hear every Sunday that we need to be compassionate to the poor, to the stranger, to the foreigner, and that is a good thing. These are good messages that we need to hear. But the left is trying to introduce these bad ideas, these Marxist ideas, under the guise of being compassionate. And it's the least compassionate thing there is because it ruins lives. But it makes, it makes arguing against it very hard because you, nobody wants to sound cold-hearted. Or, or, but, but you have to say, but this is not helping anybody. What I what I propose is actually would actually help people. Communism would not help anybody, but bring national ruination. We have a lot more work to do, my friend, and I think you and I and some others need to get to work on this. I, I, what you put forth. Uh, in your book, The Plot to Change America, How Identity Politics is Dividing the Land of the Free, has been a decades-long assault that needs to be taken on. And I, I firmly believe, just based on this conversation, sometimes these moments happen, I believe one just did, that our focus has to turn around, and it has to be to white America. Blacks don't hate you. Latins don't hate you. Whatever Asians don't hate you. Stop self-hating. Stop surrendering to the idea that you're bad because of the color of your skin. Stop being woke. You're actually being put to sleep to the realities around you. <laughs> Very good. This, is, this has been a moment. We've connected. It doesn't matter what our background is. Yeah, it's about America. It's about freedom. That's the word, freedom. Uh, right. Mike exactly. Gonzalez, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have Thank more you. to do, my friend. Sure. Bye. I'll be right back. <laughs> 